Yo, what's going on everybody? Today, we're going to be showing you if Sword Sharpness makes this kit insane in Roblox Bed Wars. Now, first of all, this kit looking really freaking clean, bro. I kind of like this kit skin. It actually looks a little thick here, but it looks really cool. It looks really cool. Got my girlfriend here, Sweetie Roblox. Shout out to her. She's going to be helping me out in this video. Her link, channel link, will be down in the description. We're going to be upgrading to the Void Angel in this video. If you guys want me to go test out the Light Angel, make sure you hit that like button. Because we might be testing out that as well to show you guys how much you can heal with the Light Angel. Alright, but without further ado, let's get straight into testing this kit. So, first of all, we gotta get three kills and we gotta upgrade ourselves to the Void Angel. And then what we're gonna do is test out how much damage we can live steal. Because I'm pretty sure the Void Angel actually does live steal. So, let's quickly get some kills here. Alright, alright, there's one kill. Oh, yeah, it took the bar up. Okay, now I'm pretty sure if you fall off or die, this little bar does not go down. You just have to get three kills and it should, you should just automatically just be able to upgrade great devoid angel right after you get these three kills I think this last kill here oh okay 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 all right so we got the last kill and here we go we can upgrade to light angel or void angel now let's see how this looks here all right we're back over here on this side we're in the dark here this is gonna be cool and crazy at the same time because it's gonna actually show off the light as good as possible here we go we're gonna change the void angel here three two one Oh my god, <laughs> dude, that is looking freaking fly, bro, oh my gosh. Okay, alright, so I'm Void Angel now, and I've got like some aura, oh my, off all these little barky barks here, these little tree branches, okay, so now what we gotta do is is we're gonna test out how much lifesteal we lifesteal with each sword. Now, here we go. First, we're gonna test it out versus no armor. Then we're gonna test it out versus armor. And then we're gonna upgrade the sword sharpness as well. All right, here we go. First of all, let's test this out. Okay, so I'm, I mean, I'm damaging 20 damage, right? So I hit, I do 20 damage. Now, I don't know how much lifesteal I'm getting because I'm full health. So you're gonna have to hit me a couple times. Here we go. Okay, that only healed me three. Only three, okay? So if I hit, I'm getting only healed three health each time I hit. Oh my. Okay, so now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to upgrade our sword to, let's grab a stone sword here. Let's see how much, how much healing we do now. There we go. Four health. Okay, so it goes up one health. We're gonna upgrade the sword again. All right, here we go. Five health. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's looking like it only goes up one health each time you level up your sword. Now, I don't know about the emerald sword, though. So we're going to try out the diamond sword here. Five health. Oh, that was the same amount of health with the iron sword. Okay, now the uh, emerald sword here. Let's see how this works. Oh, my, dude. Look at this skin with this sword. Eight health. Okay, so the more damage you do, the more healing. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna upgrade sword sharpness is gonna be the best thing for this kit because that makes you do more damage. Now, I don't know. One thing I don't know is if it, if you fireball somebody or bow them. Oh, okay, okay. So you could put a Tesla coil trap as well. Okay, let me buy one of them. Let me buy a fireball and let's go test these out. Let's go test these out. All right, so I'm gonna drop a Tesla coil down. Oh man, okay, how much is that healing me? Hit me once. All right, here we go. Okay, that's only healing me one. One each time, but that's actually really cool. That's actually really cool. One other thing I wanna test out is if the fireball works. Okay, it does, it does, it does. Oh, okay, okay, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. Now, the Emerald Sword should be the most um, damaging thing right now for this kit, unless it's TNT. TNT might be more damaging, but you can also just drop a whole bunch of TNT with all the balloons and everything, and you should be able to just, oh my, you could uh, you could heal all the way back to full health if you, if you did a TNT drop. All right, so now what we're gonna do is upgrade Sword Sharpness to tier one here, and see how much damage this does with the Emerald Sword. Let's see how much healing we can get. First, we're gonna try it with a Diamond Sword though. All right, here we go. 
Six healing. Okay. All right, here we go. Ten. Oh, my. So the Emerald Sword, once you get the Sword Sharpness upgraded to Tier 1, you actually get ten healing. Oh, my. Maybe you should have been Elder Tree. Oh, wait, you don't have Elder Tree. Okay, so now what we're going to do is upgrade Sword Sharpness again here. Let's go. All right, here we go. Diamond Sword. Let's see how this works. Okay, seven healing now. Oh, this is going to be it. Okay, here we go. With the Emerald Sword now. Boom. Eleven. Okay, so it just went up once. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, the maximum amount of healing you can do with this kit is eleven health. That's the maximum amount of healing. Unless you take a TNT blast and you just blast them off with TNT. So let's try that actually. All right, here we go. We're going to test it out with TNT here and see how much damage we possibly can do and how much healing we possibly can get here. This is one TNT here. Let's go. All right. 18 healing. Oh my gosh, that was insane. That was about 118 damage. We might try it again just in case. Here we go. All right. Ooh, 19 healing. Oh my. So if you dropped a lot of TD, bro, you could get to full health super quick. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, the TNT strategy might be the best. You know, you could just balloon up over like the 30 v 30 base. Bro, you just heal all the way back up to full health. Even if you didn't even if you didn't take damage, you're you're already back to full health instantly. All right, here we go. Um, we're gonna test out how much healing you get from the diamond armor with a diamond sword and an emerald sword here. Okay, how much healing is that? Okay, four healing. But with a diamond sword, let's see. All right, there you go. Okay, that's only two healing. Okay, so if you're going up against diamond armor, bro, you are not gonna heal too much. All right, versus emerald armor now. All right, let's see how much healing this is. One healing, oh my. Two healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got, I mean, maybe if you had Emerald Armor too, and you were going up against somebody that had Emerald Armor, that would be really good. But if you don't have Emerald Armor, bro, that's not that's not too good. If you're fighting somebody that with Emerald Armor, you're only gonna get one, uh, two healing with another Emerald Sword, and with everything else, you're probably just gonna get one healing. Oh my, yeah. But if you had Emerald Emerald Armor as well, you would also just take less damage as well, so you wouldn't need that much healing. So that's actually really cool. That's actually really cool. Um, one other thing, we're gonna go into another game and test out the healing side of this kit now. So here we go. One thing I wanna also test out is if I can spawn camp and get kills. Oh, you can just spawn kill. Okay, you can kind of spawn kill people. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna OP. I guess it's I guess it's not really that OP though. Okay, here we go for another transformation. This is gonna be pretty epic. This is the most exciting part. Let's see. <laughs> that is too cool. Alright, so now what we're going to need to do is we need to make you take fall damage. So build up and like take some fall damage and then somehow I'm going to have to heal you somehow, I think. You have blocks? Okay. Okay, so she's going to jump off, take some fall damage. Let's see how this works. Okay, I'm not healing. How do I heal you? Do I have to like hurt somebody else? Uh, okay, so the more I damage, okay. So the more damage I do, the more I heal my teammates. Okay, this can be OP then. If you have like a team. Okay, this is weird. It's like a whole Triforce here. Is that why it's called Trinity? Oh, that might be why. You have to have a teammate. And then you have to have a random person. And so the random person, they all have to just fight each other. Like if we all fight. <laughs> okay, I hit you. Ah, oh. Am I healing myself? I'm not ever healing myself though. Okay. So I don't heal myself though. But I do have to heal you. Okay, so now what we need to do, so the more damage you do, the more healing you actually do to your teammates too as well. So now what we're going to try to do is see if we upgrade sword sharpness. We could actually, okay, this might be OP. 
And here we go. We're going to upgrade sword sharpness and see just how much healing we can actually heal you. Alright, here we go. That's max sword sharpness. Okay. Oh my. Okay, that's 20 health that she heals from me hitting him with the emerald sword at maximum sword sharpness. Now I'm doing like, how much damage am I doing? I'm doing like 70, right? I think I'm doing like 74 damage. Okay. So yeah, I'm doing 74 damage. I'm healing my teammates for 20 damage each. Now I'm pretty sure if they have armor on, then it'll obviously do less healing. But if you're going up against an elder tree, bro, this kit is the best kit to go up against an elder tree because they can't get armor. So you're going to be healing. Oh my dude, you're just going to be healing your whole teammate just versus elder tree. All right, this kit is one of the most, one of the best kits versus Elder Tree. I think this is literally the best kit versus Elder Tree. All right, I think that's going to be a wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We are almost at 10K. If you guys could hit that subscribe button, help me get to 10K. But shout out to uh, T Sleepy Gamer and my girlfriend. Her link, well, T Sleepy Gamer, he's probably got a YouTube channel. I don't know. He's just over there spraying on stuff. He's just a, a random person, I think. But he's pretty cool. So shout out to him and shout out to Sweetie Roblox. Her link will be down in the description if you guys want to go check out her channel. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.